If you're new to cryptocurrency, you may have noticed that there are several stable coins that track the price of the US dollar. Two of the most popular being USDC and USDT. You might be wondering, what's the difference? In this video, we'll break down what you need to know about USDC and USDT. Stay tuned, you're watching Coin Ledger. While USDT and USDC are both stable coins that track the US dollar, they have different structures and are backed by different entities. USDT is a stable coin that was launched in 2014 by Tether. While USDT is the most popular stable coin in the world, Tether has faced controversies, such as a $41 million fine in 2021 for misleading users about reserves. USD coin, USDC, is a stablecoin launched in 2018 by Circle. The stablecoin is known for its transparent reserves and is managed by the Center Consortium, a collection of crypto companies including Circle and Coinbase. Now, let's walk through how Tether and USDC compare on three key factors. Market cap, reserve assets, and transparency. Factor number one market capitalization. At the time of this video's recording, USDC is the biggest stablecoin on the market. While Tether has faced controversy, USDT is the default stablecoin for many decentralized applications. Part of the reason why USDT is so popular is because it was the first stablecoin ever launched. That means for many years, USDT was the only stablecoin available across the crypto ecosystem. Factor number two, reserve assets. Remember, the value of your stablecoin is backed up by its reserves. Ideally, your stablecoin provider should have reserves that cover 100% of investors' funds. To make sure that in any situation, you can redeem your stablecoin for its full value. As we mentioned earlier, Tether has been fined in the past for misleading users about its reserves. While Tether claimed to have 100% reserves at all times, an investigation found that Tether only held 27.6% of the value of its stablecoin in its reserves. While Circle has faced issues in the past, such as a brief depegging of USDC due to the Silicon Valley bank crisis, the company publishes monthly third-party assurances of its reserves. That's why we give the edge on reserve assets to USDC. Factor number three, security. All of Circle's reserves are held with regulated financial institutions, helping to protect against potential hacks. On Tether's site, the company says that it follows world-class standardized compliance measures. However, there is a lack of transparency into what exactly these measures entail. For that reason, we give the edge on security to USDC. So, in conclusion, while USDT might be the most popular stablecoin in the world, USDC has it beat on key features like transparency, security, and reserve assets. That's the video, everyone. If you have any more questions about stablecoins, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Until next time.